Hi guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, addition and subtraction of complex numbers. Let's get started. So when you want to add two complex numbers in this format, uh, remember that uh, a complex number can be written as x plus i y, where x is the real part and y is the imaginary part. So when we're adding two complex numbers, what we need to do is collect all the real parts first. So in this case it's x1 and x2 and we add it up and that will be our real part of the new complex number and as for the y values which are the imaginary values so this is imaginary value for imaginary part of the complex number and then another imaginary part of the complex number now we add these two together so we're gonna get i y1 plus i y2 and that's your imaginary part of the complex numbers. Okay, let's have a look at a quick example. So if we were to have 2 plus 2i plus 7 plus i, uh, what we do is we collect the um, real parts first. So in this case, it'll be 2 and 7, and we write it up. Now we collect the imaginary parts, which is, sorry, we just do the real parts first, 2 plus 7, and then the imaginary parts, which is 2i and i, so it's 2i plus i. Uh, simplifying this, well, the imaginary parts here first, just think of it like just collecting variables, um, or like collecting like terms, where the real numbers belong to one, one set and the imaginary numbers belong to another one. So here you will have 9 plus 3i as your final answer. Okay. Looking at subtraction of complex numbers, pretty much the same concept, only with a minus, but I'll show you an example anyway. So when we do a subtraction of two complex numbers, like I said, it was similar as addition. So we collect the real parts, x1 and x2, except when we write it up, it's going to be x1 minus x2, which is the real part. And now we look at the imaginary part, which is i, y1 and i, y2. So we would have i, y1 minus y2. Okay. Looking at an example. The example we're going to look at is 7 plus 3i minus 2 minus 2i. So as usual, we collect the real parts first. So in this case, it'll become 7 minus 2, which is the real part. And then we have the imaginary part, which is going to be 3i and minus 2i. But since we've taken i out in, as a common factor, this would simply just be 3 minus minus 2. The reason it's minus minus 2 is because you can see that there's two negatives in the other, other, other end, on the left side. Okay, simplifying this, the real part will become 5 and the imaginary part will become also 5, but positive 5. So the final answer is 5 plus 5i. Okay, um, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to draw um, or how to show addition of complex numbers in an argon diagram. That's the complex plane. Okay, I'll go back to the first example, but I'll, I'll show you guys how to do this in the plane. So here we have a complex number 2 plus 2i. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it first. That's where that's that's the vector it looks like. Now I'm adding seven plus i to it, and I'll sketch seven plus i. Now adding these two complex numbers, I would actually get nine plus three i. And if I draw this nine plus three i, I'm going to draw it as a pink line here. That's nine plus three i. So it might not make sense at this point, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually going to move the complex number 7 plus i to a different direction and show you guys how it works. So get rid of it. And what you can see is the originally the complex number was here, 7 plus i. Now I could actually move it literally there. And as you can see, when the green line, which is 2 plus 2i, and the purple line, which is 7 plus i, when you add them together, you end up with the pink line, which is 9 plus 3i. So adding those two complex numbers, you get the, the final product, the final sum, really. 
All right, that's about it from this session, guys. Thanks for watching.